Okay, um, so we've calculated the profit and the return on investment. Um, now we've got a whole lot of figures here. Um, however, what we will do is we will be creating some graphs in order to help us visualize the data a little bit better. Now, some of the information that you had on your uh, list of movies was uh, the budget. Now, if I was to ask you which budget would be a good budget to use, some of you guys will come back with different figures. Some of you guys had commented saying that certain budgets were too high, certain budgets were, were good, uh, but I do not understand exactly what you've measured this against. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we will look at this past movie data to help us give us an idea of what a good movie budget is. Um, so the first thing I've done, as you guys can see, is I've highlighted that column. I'll go to insert chart. Okay, and that's created a chart for me. Now, you might not see your chart straight away, so you may need to scroll around your spreadsheet in order to find it. It is a large spreadsheet. Um, but once you've found it, it would be a good idea to move it over to the side where, uh, where it's not in the way of any data. Um, so now what I want to do is uh, I want to actually look at the data to think about what would be a good movie budget to use. Um, so you might look at this data and think, okay, uh, we've got loads of data at the top here. Let's say 100 million is a good budget. However, you have not considered all these tiny budgeted films uh, towards the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change um, some of the some of the things on this chart. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the chart type. Instead of having a column chart, I will choose a different type of chart. Now, as you can see here, we have loads of different types of charts we can use. Uh, we have a pie chart, for example. Okay, so it's told me uh, certain budgets have taken up 1% of the data. Uh, some have taken as little as 0 0.4, 0 0.2 even. Uh, we can, if we had uh, information about uh, certain countries, we do have maps as well. We've obviously got columns and bars as well, line graphs, etc. Uh, however, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use one of the other charts, uh, which isn't so frequently used, but it's actually called a histogram chart. Now, as you can see that this has put all the data uh, for me as so. Uh, we've got the different budgets um, and we've, we've got all the information here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually change my title. So if I just double click here and I can change my title to movie budgets. Um, as you can see, I've got my uh, axes on the side here. Um, Okay, we should actually have budget uh, across the bottom for some reason, but what we will do is we will change that uh, because we've got the budgets here uh, and we've actually got, uh, this should be the quantity there. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go over to my horizontal axis title and I'm going to change that to budget. Okay, and I'm going to change my vertical axis title to quantity or number of movies would be a good one um, and now I can see that like so um, I've got my different chart styles so if I wanted to change perhaps the color of the background I could do if I want to change the font that's used um, I can do um, I can go to the histogram section and one thing we can see here is that these figures here are quite difficult for me to read. So I'm actually change that bucket size. Um, I might change it to 1 million. Okay, and as we can see, the data here is easier for me to read. Okay, but this being very small might not be a good bucket size to use. So I may want to actually change that to 10 million. Okay, now you it, that's down for you to decide what would be a good bucket size for you to use. Uh, but the main thing is to try and see exactly what would be a good movie budget to use. Uh, we can come and we've already changed uh, some of the titles. Um, we do not need to change the series, but if you wanted to use a different color, you could do. Um, and we've got a few other options here, which we do not really need to use, but you can use if you wish. Um, so that's our first graph done. Okay, and we will be creating other graphs, which we should have been doing one person each per per group. Okay, um, so a couple of the other um, graphs that you should have been creating 
we'd have been trying to also visualize not just the budgets but also the box office revenue so seeing what a typical box office revenue would be um and you would have also looked at the relationships between um i believe the budget and the box office as well okay um so that's uh, a bit of information on how to do graphs if you wanted to do more than one uh, piece of information on your graph you can simply select two columns you can even select them if they're not together as well using the control key on your keyboard